All right, folks. Welcome to the July Town Hall. Uh, this Town Hall is going to follow the same kind of format as the last one. Uh, we're going to cover just the, the month in review and go on to some new things, and then we're going to wrap up the Q&A. Uh, I'd like to keep this down to 30 minutes again. Summertime, everybody get outside, get some sun, get some, have some fun. So uh, before we get into it, we've had... Uh, somebody doing quite a bit of good work uh, for the Legion. They've gone through uh, their officers' academy assessments. They've proven themselves to be very confident, competent, and capable as a platoon leader. And so now we're looking to push them a little bit further into the SGL leadership, welcome them to the, to the uh, ranks of the high command, and see where else they can take us uh, for the future. So without further ado... I would like to thank and congratulate Hittermater to be or pushed up to Swarmlord. So you can give them your your cheers in the text channel. <laughs> so congrats, Hitter. I will say it is very awkward being the only person talking now, but I'll get used to it. Um, but well done. So Hitter is one of the very, very strong uh, PLs we have that's very consistent, uh, very reliable to get some solid wins. Definitely out of some, I've seen some clutch pulls uh, from Hitter, well, like a prime time especially, which is, what interests me the most is seeing how we do during prime time because that shows the other factions and the other teams just who who we are and what we're capable of when we have everybody working together. So well done, hitter. Congrats. And somebody make that man blue. Hitter, I'm going to give you the opportunity. If you want to say anything, I'm going to invite you to speak. Uh, to get that, you just click on the Town Hall Meetings channel and we'll be on the top right to accept it. And you can come up, say a few words uh, if you have anything to say, or alternatively, if you want to type it out in the text, you can also do that, uh, and the floor is yours. Hello. Uh, all right, first of all, thank you. Thank you, uh, really, an honor. I, well, yeah, I've been trying to be super active this month and try to help as lot of and as most people as I could. I have helped a lot of y'all, just uh, new PLs or first-time PLs, uh, platoon lead. We have been seeing a rising of uh, platoon leads this month, I guess, and a lot of people that actually wanted to try it. Um, it's really easy uh, when there is someone out there to help you. I have, um, yeah, I just want to say that. Uh, thank you again, and if you ever want to try a PL, it's not scary. Um, if you see me or anyone else out there that you've seen a lot, like lead the tunes or spots or whatever, and if you want to try it, just, just say, hey, I want to try that. And I, as I said already, I said, I, I'm always there to help you. Thank you again. Perfect. Well said. And I want to congratulate Hitter on being the next mentor into the Academy, Officers Academy system. Um, so looking for your point of view on the issues that the Broodlords face and how to overcome them as uh, as we get into the new season and hopefully another season of Outfit Wars so we can come out on top. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go into is uh, a little bit of the, the, the month in the review. Uh, so we've had we're getting busier. So as you, if you go, you can take a look at the overall strike news. You'll see um, we've had stuff going on almost every day, and a lot of those are run by the officers' academy or the academy system in general. Um, and we see folks running events. And for example, we participated in the community smash that occurred yesterday, uh, which you can watch on Planet Side Two Battles on Twitch. Um, so there's a lot going on. I won't go day by day. Just know that now we've got a lot of people contributing a lot of cool and, and uh, coming up with some awesome ideas and things that will come up. And if you are interested in the Officers Academy and leadership in general, um, you'll see when ProZen runs his leadership stuff, 
uh, is he does a mix between in-game and Discord. You can see that. You can jump in with those and get your feet wet. I mean, you might not need to become a Broodlord right away just to see if it's interesting to, interesting to you. Um, we also have, we, ha we got VR happening with Jinxie doing his Air Academy uh, training, or Air training, I should say. I don't want to put the uh, cart before the horse. Um, and as well as just general events that are going on. And before I start going in circles, I'm going to hand the mic over to Avocado, who's now going to talk about his week of woe and the crazy events he's got aligned. So Avocado, floor is yours. All right. I actually thought I was going to get one time. Second. All right. So, pertaining to the next academy that is in the pipeline to roll, one of the aspects of the famous Infantry Academy, or we hope will become famous, is the concept that you don't have to be on the point to contribute to a battle. Now, there's obviously a good way to do this, and there's a bad way. One of the more common bad ways is people stay in tanks, basically shell the base, and we have less people in the point, or we have people running around and, well, basically we have an inefficiency in people who are not on the point. So, the events I have created, I have kind of deemed the week of woe will be an introduction into the logistics branch and the support branch of the upcoming infantry academies that are set to roll probably in the next few months. Probably not next month, but in the next few months. Every event in this upcoming week of woe will be directly integrated into the academies. The logistics branch is designed around educating people how to get into the hex and how to keep the enemy out of the hex. So we have events every single day. This coming Monday, we have an anti-spawn logistics event. What this is, is an event where I will teach you about every possible way you can get inside an enemy hex and how to delete that method off the face of the earth. So that we're talking beacons, routers, sunderers, airdrops, you name it. Part of the Infantry Academy also deals with support. If you're not on the point or you're not barricading the doors inside that point, say you're a light assault or infiltrator doing something else, the old SKL used to cater to those styles in our old division. We had a Raptor style, or a Raptor division, that focused on Light Assault play. We had a division focused on throwing 12 medics at the point, or 12 medics down a long hallway, meant to break the enemy. One of our famous divisions was called the Ethereal Division, which was an operation solely based on infiltrators and cloakers. On Tuesday, if I'm remembering correctly, we have what's called the anti-logistics event. This, in this event, we will revive some of the old infiltrator play. We will deploy on the back base of any back. Uh, we'll deploy on the back base of a hot fight, and we will shut down combined arms. Infiltrators will be deployed all over the back base with the basic orders to work as a team learn how to cover each other's back, and shut down vehicle poles, shut down air poles. The best spawn that you have to fight is one that is never pulled. So on Monday, when I teach you how to destroy the spawn at its location, on Tuesday, I will teach you how to destroy it at its source. On Wednesday, we have our anti-construction ops. If you were with me when I was part of the Grenadier Heads, I would use to run these all the time. I will take a strapping group of 12 individuals, well, 24. We will case and scout across the enemy faction, and we will drop on construction bases and render them to dust. 
We will have a focus on what to do when you are taking bases down. We will have a focus on how to take down a large base and how to, once again, work with your buddies, work with your teams, cover each other's back in doing so. So you're not throwing yourself at the same base over and over. It's a one and done deal. That's the events on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday through Saturday will be a combination of these. On Thursday, we are running anti-logistics and anti-construction. If we're doing our job right, you should not see routers on whatever faction we focus on. On Friday, I will be asking for three squads to run a event that I love to call a faction collapse. We're going to collapse on one faction, shut down spawn, shut down vehicles, shut down air, shut down routers. And on Saturday, we are going to repeat the same thing, except this time we're going to do it with an entire platoon. The one thing I want to focus on is instruction and then repetition. I can spend an hour and a half talking to you about, oh, you can do this idea, you can do this idea. But if we're not practicing it, then what good are the words? So that is the week of woe. I hope it's going to be fun, exciting. I'm still looking for help, so if any of the brood lords wish to chip in, I still have open spots. I think that's it. If you have any questions about it, I can field them at the end. Perfect. So exciting stuff that's going to be happening this week. Uh, we'll be looking forward to having more people assist with it. Um, I look forward to kind of seeing the creativity and seeing what happens uh, throughout this. So you can expect to see me there participating for sure. Um, so one thing I am le looking forward is to getting the word out, getting the popularity of this up and get more people coming out to it and getting more people involved with it. You don't have to be a brood lord to help. You could be a legionnaire. You could be any rank. Get your hands dirty and help out just even a little bit. Makes it easier, makes these events fun because this game's entirely community driven at this point now. Okay, so for the next thing that we're getting into, it's going to be the actual official release of the Air Academy. I'm not going to ruin anything, so I'm just going to hand it right over to Jinxie and let him run with it and show his stuff. The floor is yours. Alrighty, so if I need to, uh, I need to share it, we're going to have to go to a different channel because I can't stream in here. Correct. We'll have to go up to the Hangout. Alrighty, guys. It's going to go on just for a little bit longer. There's some little screenshots here that I put in the end for you guys to see. Uh, the official applications will be uh, posted here in just a little bit. Um, we're going to start going through those applications as soon as we can. Uh, but a little bit about the Air Academy. I'm going to be the Air Academy head. I'm going to be joined by Sal Misra, who will be join uh, my admin. I will have Sergeant Cody as my scythe lead, and then I have General Canada and Trimaxing as two scythe instructors. And currently I'm trying to get a Valkyrie instructor prepped up, so hopefully we'll have that in the future. But uh, Parasite will be uh, one of the instructors over there. Let's go ahead. What about and... Liberators? Liberators, as of right now, we don't have any instructors for waves. Yeah, I I know. Eventually, I want to have a section for every aircraft. I want one for galaxies. I want one for libs. I want one for dervishes. Mag I want riders. one for mag riders because they fly too. But you get the point. Um, the only difference that you'll notice between what I've been doing well on the Friday trainings. And now that we have the Air Academy, is the Fridays will still be there, and they're going to be a part of the Air Academy. But there's going to be a separate branch that will be the main piece of the Air Academy. So we're going to have what we're going to call targeted members, so targeted trainees that get assigned an instructor and they're going to work one-on-one -on -one with that instructor. The times and the duration will be up to the trainee and the instructor that they're working with. 
so that it's better suited to those that have off hours or have random hours that can't make the Friday trainings. Um, there was, there's going to be goals and achievements. We're going to have ranks of renowns for those of you that want to pursue mastering the scythe or the valkyrie or whatever aircraft there is. Everyone will start with one. It's going to be the Air 101. It'll just be your initiations, which will just be your keybinds and how to move. And then we'll let you choose one of the branches, whether it be Scythe or etc. And then we're going to get you going. We even have a textbook. You might have seen it there at the end. I've written up a textbook for the Scythe. I'm going to be working on one for the Valkyrie and so on and so forth. But... At this time, I can start answering questions. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yes, there will be dervishes at one at some point. Um, right now, it's they're kind of in the infancy, so it's kind of hard. We're expecting. Some, I'm expecting some changes to be made to them. They've already had some changes. Uh, but I'm I'm expecting further changes to them. Uh. What? Let me see. What else? Oh, but uh, a celebration. Uh, there's going to be a bastion next week. I think that was in the Orbital Strike news, but if you missed I it... I do questions. Uh, there is a text channel. It's the the meeting text channel. If you have any questions, I have a question. Go ahead. What happens if I get through all your training? What can I do then with the academy? So, once you've mastered one aircraft, there's nothing stopping you from doing the other aircraft. But if somehow you've done all the aircraft available, you're going to be a part of the graduates. And once you graduate, you are no longer training your technical skills. That does not mean you have learned everything there is. There are some things that I cannot teach you, that I cannot test you on. And those things are only earned or learned through hours upon hours of flying or if you would call the meta of flying. And once you graduate, you can work with instructors still. We're still going to help you. But there are things that you will have to start teaching yourself. There's a lot to learn past that. And you could also look forward to becoming an instructor yourself. If someone passes and graduates through the Scythe course, and we see that they have the aspects for leaders to teach other people and they're willing to commit to the time that it will cry require. I am still looking for more instructors, especially for other aircraft that I do not have an active branch for. I have another question. Go ahead. Do I have to sign up to go to your weekly training? So my weekly trainings are brought to you by SKL Air Academy, that does not mean that you have to be a part of SKL or the SKL Academy. This is, the Fridays will be open to everyone. You are welcome to come in. You are welcome to learn anything that you want. If you have something specifically that you want to learn, you just ask the instructor. We're not going to stop you. Obviously, we're going to try to usher you through some of the courses that we, we teach in the Air Academy albeit less one-on-one -on -one, since there's going to be more than one of you. But it is there is nothing stopping anyone from coming to my Friday trainings. Uh, question. I like to squad lead, but need time for platoon lead. Can I stay brood lord for a while? Yes, there's always going to be 
a place for a squad lead. There's there's a reason to have a platoon lead, and there's a reason to have a squad lead, and both of them are necessary. A platoon lead will have a much, much more difficult time if he does not have squad leads. So if you want to be a squad lead, we need we need squad leads. We need lots of platoon leads, sure, but for every platoon lead that we have, we're going to need three other squad leads. Uh, Dervish has answered that one. I think we're moving on to a question and answer session, so you can probably retake it, Uber. Yep, yeah. and that's it. So at any point in time, now we can field any questions from this town hall. We're going into uh, H minus four, so I'm gonna. We can field questions as long as you want, but I to be anything. This has been a pretty efficiently quick meeting. Um, and that's the way I intended it with this one. So if you have any questions on the Air Academy, uh, but you can't. You can't get a hold of uh, anybody at this time. Always feel free to message Jinky, Jinxie or Avakadu or Prozan if it's about the Officers Academy. Um, but at this time, like if there's any questions, we'll field it. Uh, if not, I'm going to keep people here for the sake of keeping people here because you got to get you, get you folks out into the sun before you stop getting your vitamin D. Uh, Uber, I'd like to add something here if I can. Yeah, launch, brother. Guys, this is more specifically to the platoon leaders, the regular ones that we have around here, and also the swarm lords and above. So the people that we usually have uh, leading on the field in Planet Side 2. Uh, guys, I'm going to urge something for you guys. This is a, a request that we should do more regularly inside of SKL. We are doing something amazing here right now, and we're doing something that has a lot of potential of completely changing the game for us. If we have the, uh, a successful Air Academy inside of SKL, we're going to completely change the meta in our own server. So this is a very important thing that we're doing here, guys. But we can't do it without attention. We need SKL to know about this, and we need SKL to join in in the idea. So to all of our platoon leaders out there, all of our squad leaders, all of the swarm lords and above, get the word out, guys. Let people know. Uh, tell them in your platoons, uh, any swarm lord or above. If you are playing during prime time, go and outfit chat for just a minute and say, hey, guys, a quick minute. Just let you all know the Air Academy is out. We need people to join. Go find us on Discord and try to get people in here, guys, because we really need a lot of people to make it successful and it is going to be amazing we can change the game in our own server if we get a lot of people to join spread the word guys spread the word that's exactly it right word of mouth is the best way to spread all this stuff um obviously you can see our audience is getting bigger for these uh town halls but we need the majority of you folks to leave these town halls and start talking about the things coming up. Uh, and we can just increase what we have in capability-wise. More people that go through officer training, more people that go through these academies, it just helps lend to the mentorship and training cadre that we'll develop that allow us to expand that into other academies and other avenues of planet side. So we can keep developing that expertise and really, really make SKL the center of excellence in terms of training. And that's ultimately what we're trying to achieve when we do these academies. We're trying to pull people in and start having the faction come together, participate in our events. We participate in theirs, and then we bring up the skill skill floor and increase the skill ceiling for us to compete against them uh, as we go into the new cycles and the new competitive nature of, uh, or I should say, expanded competitive nature of Planet Side, with Outfit Wars becoming more of a season type thing rather than one match and and that's it for six months. Um, I do want to have, a, I'd make a shout out to uh, Tri, uh, Trim, Trimaxing, who's also assistant with Air Academy. So you're going to notice that it's one of the first times we're having somebody not in SKL as a trainer. Um, Trim has been in our server and been a friend of ours for a good, good, long, long time. Like, I'm talking like three, three years or so. Um, and that's the kind of thing we're looking for is at the end of the day, we're a community. And we're looking to have people contribute one way or the other. So 
consider that as well as we're going forward. Is there any other questions? I can't see. What did I miss? Because I came in late. <laughs> uh, we were just bashing uh, the armor and all that jazz. You know, same old stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much I'm, I'm sure you were. <laughs> um, which trainers do you need help on? You said you have ESFs fine, but you needed more pilots to train different things. Yeah, no, uh, uh, if you feel like you might be qualified to help me teach people, uh, I'm going to be posting a link to uh, apply for an instructor role. Uh, I'm still looking for every ESF, or sorry, every aircraft. Uh, the more I have, the more consistent the Air Academy could be. Yeah, and guys, one one thing that you should always keep in mind as well is uh, the refreshment of those ranks as well. Because mentors will come and go. People, uh, they will stop playing for some time. So we will always need a constant income of new people to train the, the new generations. So if, if you're not interested in it now, if you're going to jump into the academy, maybe keep that in mind because we, we will always have uh, a necessity for more mentors to jump in. So, yep, and that's that's bang on, right? So, if you want to get involved, there are plenty of folks here. You just have to look at the top of the list there and start picking names. Uh, hopefully, you get the right ones, and you start asking to help. If not, they'll direct you where you can go help. All right, folks, if there is no other questions, we are H plus three, and I would gladly end this if you all have nothing else to ask. Uh, Mike, I'm actually going to send you just a quick roll-up just in chat. Oh, man, you, you rock. Yeah, guys, another quick shout-out, just because I'm, I'm reminding this here so we can make good use of, of our goodwill Uber here. Uh, we do have a Minecraft server, guys. If you're not aware of it, we have a Minecraft server. Go check it out. If you want to chill, it's a good place, you know, spend some time after a frustrating alert or a nice win, just like the one we had right now, by the way. Shout out to any platoon leaders that were there. And uh, yeah, it's just good to you all know, guys. We do have a Minecraft server running. You can get the role in the role request channel. That's also something that not enough people know about, so. Um, who was it that was running Week of Woe again? Me. Uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be totally free, and I'd totally be down to a, like, squad lead for you, or whatever you need. Okay, shoot me a DM. Will do. I am going to go hang out in my new... Aircom's channel <laughs> and start looking through those applications that hopefully will start coming in. All right, folks, so I'm going to call this officially the end of the meeting. If you have any uh, remaining questions, you can get a hold of uh, Jinxie as he goes on his channel. I'll hang out here for a few minutes before I migrate off somewhere else, uh, but uh, I'll call this officially adjourned at H plus four. So thanks for coming out, folks and have a fantastic afternoon.